It is grocery haul time. Hello, rollers, and welcome to How Inez Rolls. I am on my way to the local Vons to get our groceries for the week. Let's go. And before I head out, can you believe it? I'm wearing a sweater in Las Vegas at the end of May. We got a cold front and I just have to brag about it because it's like gonna be 60 degrees and right now in the morning it's still 50. So I get to wear a sweater probably the last time in the next five months. <laughs> now I'm ready to go. back um are you like me when you can make it into a game it actually is kind of enjoyable to go grocery shopping so I know you don't see all of it but if I turn it it's a quick sneak peek to what I just bought and purchased and I will tell you at the end how much I spent but even the lady at the register said I did well. <laughs> so you can see right here, I got some Dr. Pepper, some Diet Coke. This time I got some Fresca and I got some canned lemonade um, that has zero sugar. Um, Jonas has braces now, so he really should be staying away from the carbonation as much as possible. So um, at least this has zero sugar and I, I don't think it's carbonated, but if it is, I'll We'll figure it out. So I know he's been brushing his teeth tons, at least to compensate for having sugary stuff and just having between meals, just kind of getting in there. Let me know down below if you had braces. I did not, but Paul had it twice, I think. He had a lot of dental stuff before when he was a kid. So maybe my boys inherited that, I don't know. So let me show you what I got. I got some actually some new things, which I'm super excited about. And I'm gonna tell you what my thought process is for some meal planning. Let's get started. So I will say using the Vons app, which they've changed mine recently. I don't know if this is nationwide. Um, and so it's a little more difficult, uh, but I'm thinking I'm getting the hang of it. But, these were on sale for 50 cents, you guys. And so I got three of them. And the boys love these. They like to have them as snack. Um, just get a handful type thing, puts them in a baggie. And sometimes they'll even have it with milk. We're not big milk drinkers here, but sometimes we will if we have cereal. All right, one meal here as I got these um, burger buns and hamburgers. Now I make them on the cooktop on a grill pan that I got from Ikea of all places. So um, these ones are leaner. They didn't have the ones that I like, the 80-20s, um, but these are leaner, so we'll see how that goes. I'm figuring because I'm gonna be cooking them on the cooktop that I it doesn't really matter too much. We'll see. So um, yeah, I just usually put a slice of American cheese on that. You know, all the fixings, right? For me, everybody else is super boring at my house. <laughs> so I also picked up some um, oops, Red Robin um, steak fries and some onion rings to go with that meal. These french fries are so good in the restaurant. I had to try them from the freezer section. So we'll see how they taste. Let me know if you've had these before and let's keep going. Okay, next up is I got some paper towels, which were starting to run low. Normally, whenever I go to Costco, I will get a thing of paper towels or a thing of toilet paper. So last time I went, I got the toilet paper and I didn't realize we were so low on paper towels, which is fine. These were only $2.97. We don't use tons of paper towels. At least I don't feel like we, we do. Um, I like to use um, dish cloths or washcloths. I have a bunch of those that I like to wipe hands with and wipe counters with, and then we can just wash them and reuse them. So I love doing that route as much as possible. But this has got to be for like soaking up stuff. You'll see. I mean, like you make sausage and stuff and you need to soak it. So paper towels for the win and toilet paper. These are both $2.97 on sale. Oh, <laughs> and so um, I may send up 
the toilet paper just with my son. So he's going to need it. Let's keep going. So I picked up um, just some London broil for Paul to grill. And so he'll grill all of this at once. And if we don't use it all, which that tends to happen, I put the rest in a, in a freezer bag. And then I learned this trick from my mother-in-law and she makes SOS. So she'll take the, all the leftover like steak bits and stuff, chop them up and add it to a gravy. Well, I use our cream of chicken soup gravy mix that looks just like uh, country gravy to me. And so I just add all the beef bits into that and serve it over toast. Let me know if you've ever had that before or if you, I know a lot of people grew up eating that and so it's kind of a little fun thing for, for me to learn when I married Paul. Okay, I picked up some bacon because last week, if you watched us go to the lake, I made BLTs. So I picked up some Grandma Sycamore. Boys love the BLTs. And so I just picked up some lettuce and tomato. Um, and I was actually quite surprised that they ate, it, they ate the tea in the BLT. So. That made me super happy. All right, let's keep going. I have, confession, a sweet tooth. <laughs> Such a sweet tooth. So I know I need to curb it. Let me know some of your suggestions on, I can't do cold turkey. That this just doesn't work for me. So um, if you have any suggestions, but what I think I'm gonna try to do this week is um, try to replace it with more fruits in the the treat. So I picked up some bananas. Some of my favorite things to have as a snack is um, banana with some peanut butter, some shaved coconut, and then put a, a light drizzle of the chocolate syrup. That's when I need a little bit of something. And I feel like that'll be so good. So if you've ever also had a tortilla with peanut butter, lay the, the banana in the middle and sprinkle a tiny bit of cinnamon on top. Mwah. That could be a great lunch idea for the kids, for sure. It is so good. So I got a lot here. And so if I don't use this up, I'm not gonna make banana and chocolate chip banana pancakes or, or muffins. I am going to just uh, freeze them in slices. And then I use half chocolate chips, half peanut butter. So like a half a cup of chocolate chips, half a cup of peanut butter, a cup of chocolate chips, a cup of peanut butter depending on how much banana you have. And then I just wait till they're frozen and pull them out and dab, like just dab a little bit of chocolate combo on top of all of the banana slices. And then I put them back in the freezer, just to make sure they're completely frozen. And then I just keep them in a bag. The kids love it as well. And now that, that we're getting out of school this week, Ezra came out like last week, which yay, <laughs> um, we're gonna be needing to have more meals at home. Not that we haven't, but just more fun meals and easy go-to meals. Um, so let me show you a couple that I have here. I picked up some more hot dogs. It's like perfect for this time of year. Um, and I can grill a hot dog. <laughs> so easy on the trigger. So we love the Nathan's beef hot dogs. They're nice and long, so they'll fit the buns and they're not as thick. It's perfect. Maybe with that meal, we could even bake up some of this mac and cheese. Um, I've gotten this one before and it has a good flavor to it. So I really like it. Um, it doesn't have a ton, so we can't get crazy with our serving sizes, which is good. And um, if I need to have more meal, uh, more to the meal, I can make a salad. All right, I picked up some corn tortillas just for some green enchiladas. And then you guys, have you seen these? Sweet Hawaiian soft tacos. They're like the street taco size. Let me know down below if you've had these, but they seem like a good thing. <laughs> so I thought with this that I can make the sweet chicken tacos, which is just chicken breast, as many as you want in your crock pot, and then like a half of a jar of your favorite salsa. Um, so depending on how many chicken breasts, you may want to alter that. And then like maybe a quarter cup of brown sugar, not too much, um, or even less. So then you just kind of let that all cook in together and then I add a little bit of corn in mine and then we just shred it and then boom, add it to some tacos. And this seems like it would be a really nice addition, don't you think? All right, another thing that I um, purchased were a few of these cans of biscuits um, and I picked up some um, pepperonis and I also picked up 
some mozzarella cheese. I don't normally like buying this stuff that's already shredded, but you'll see why I did. My son, I'm going to teach him how to make a pizza casserole. Um, Kristen over at Little Luna had, was showing that her son was making it and he was about Jonas's age and I thought, you're making us dinner. So, <laughs> um, or he can make it for lunch, but it's super easy. Just cut these little uh, biscuits into eights and then add it into a bowl with a cup of um, the sauce and a one and a half cups of this. Put it in a nine by 13 to bake and then make sure you have some more toppings. So you can put any toppings on top, a little more cheese, boom, you have pizza casserole. Doesn't that just sound like the perfect kid meal? So I'm excited to try that with him. And I, I got three cans of that. So in case he likes it, he can make it any other time. We were out of medium cheddar, so I got the big block. I love medium cheddar. And I picked up some more chocolate chip waffles. Those are Ezra's fave. And then let's keep going. All right, I picked up a watermelon. I feel like all the watermelons look the same. I mean, really, it's like they purposely put like some bee stingings on there and make it like the perfect light yellow to the dark. And I'm like, they're probably not that great. <laughs> it's engineered because <laughs> I have been half and half. So I bought already, this is my third one already. First one was horrible. I could not even eat it. The second one was good. So let's hope that this one is good. <laughs> All right, I picked up also some uh, corn tortilla chips. Those are good. We eat a lot of the tortilla chips. I picked up some more potatoes. So I'll be baking these with some chicken broccoli soup. So we'll put that on top of the potato. It is so good. Basically, it's just uh, cream of chicken soup with um, some shredded chicken in it. And then you just add like a couple handfuls of cheddar, add your broccoli, and then you add it all together, put it on top of a baked potato. So good. All right, here's my other thing I got. I did pick up some Cool Whip. Um, my thought process behind this was we have canned fruit. So peaches and pineapples, all kinds of them. And I thought if I'm feeling like I need a little something, then I will put some fruit in a bowl with the dollop of, of Cool Whip. <laughs> I told Paul, we gotta try, we have to keep trying. So that's what life's about, right? Just keeping on and improving, right? And I picked up some eggs because trying to have the willpower is great. But I still bought cookies, you guys. So I do buy them for the kids. However, I, I know I'm going to have one or 10. <laughs> okay, hopefully not 10. <laughs> but I'm, I'm realistic as well. So as long as you're improving and you're doing your best, you know, add some steps which I gotta do some more of, it's gonna be a good thing. It's good for my health and I'm thinking about all the good stuff. So we're trying, we always are. So now is the time to tell you how much I spent. I spent dun, 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 $118. Now for Vons, that is a very good price. So for as much as I got, thanks so much for going with me today, sticking around, watching the haul. I love watching hauls as well. So have a wonderful day, rollers, and stick around. You just never know what I'll be rolling out next. Bye, everyone.